Hello everybody, this is Oz House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hollow Knight. In the previous episode, we... well, we lost all our Geo. Because that's how it works. You die, you lose your Geo, you die again before reclaiming it, it's gone for good. Which sucks, because we really need Geo for a lot of stuff. And afterwards, we made our way through part of the Fungal Wastes. Unfortunately, the location we want to go to, we don't have what we need to get to it. Because unfortunately, the bridge is out. But I know where we can get the thing we need. And thankfully, we have unlocked a shortcut through the fungal waste. Hold on, let me turn down the volume a little bit on my end. So we don't have to go through it a third time. Leave. We want to go down this way. Yep, because the door is over here. Whatever. And then we just want to go down. Uh, can't get up into there. Want to avoid that. Ooh, not friend. All right. Seriously, how am I supposed to get past that attack? Fine, this I can handle. Mm. Okay, they can strike upwards. Fair enough. Figured someone would eventually be smart enough to do that. But we gotta get past them. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do to upgrade our damage right now. Also, I realize that I keep forgetting to equip another charm, because I got the space for it. Let me reclaim my shade first before, you know, doing anything else. Where is it? This time to that one. Okay, I'm not trying to get myself killed again, but I need to get past it to get my shade. There we go. Where is it? course. <sighs> okay, I think I've got an idea on how to fight these things now. Uh, but not both at the same time. Okay. Don't need to dodge out of the way, I just need to, you know, not get hit. 
I see you up there. Um. Thanks for that. Yeah, place an enemy right where there's something I can accidentally inspect while trying to hit it. Wanderer seeking death, welcome. May you find swift end upon our claws. Oh, lovely. Well, at least they're cordial about it. Okay, wait until it starts swinging, then jump. Good to know. Eh, uh, don't even know where I am right now. You know what? Screw it. Fine. Ow. Okay, yeah, no, I need to find that. Every time. Every effing time I find some way to fall into the acid. Well, what I was gonna say is I need to find a bench. That ain't happening. Pretty sure I died very close to one. Yep. Okay, found the shade. And thankfully it was kind enough to be right next to the bench. So there's that. I believe... I actually want to go this way temporarily. Uh, actually, I don't think we can get to her right now. She's part of the Hidden Dreams content. Oh, while I'm here, before I forget again, let's equip another charm. Soul Catcher. Souls for the world. Increase the amount of soul gain when striking an enemy with a nail. I feel like that's going to be quite useful for us. Anyways, let's... Keep trying to get back to the direction we were going. Alright. I need this Geo for what I want to do. If you are quick enough, you can rapidly downward slash to take him out on the last two hits, 
it. It's a gamble. And here we have found the Mantis Village. Let's see, I believe there's supposed to be a familiar face around here somewhere. Yeah, can't get up there. Take care of this one first before I go after its compatriot down below. And preferably heal beforehand. Eh, yeah, should have figured. Open that up. Question is, how do I get up there? Can't push this. And that right there is what we're trying to get. Mantis Claw. Press A while sliding against the wall to jump again. Jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. Yes, we have our wall jump, and this is going to open up a lot for us. Including access to the area I was trying to go to earlier. Wrong button. I suppose we may as well take a look around here, though. Never know what we're gonna find. Hello. Wanderer's Journal. The truce remains, our vigil holds, the beasts are kept at bay. That. Okay, I think I'm on to something with that. Okay, what up with the rumbling? Where'd this one come? Oh, right, because I left the area and came back. Still, though, allegedly Quirrell's supposed to be around here. Oh, I guess it opened this up for us. <laughs> Be more careful. Not that I've ever taken my own advice.
Okay, don't know what happened there. Estimated it. Supposed to be a bench somewhere around here, or at least a pathway to a bench. Okay, let's get away from these two. Oh, you utter bastard. idea how I'm supposed to get there, and I'm not going to continue downwards if I don't have access to that bench. Because I know what's down there, even without the map available. I know what is down there. Anyways, here's Quirrell. Again, I suppose you've already met with the tribe of this village, hmm? They seem a little distrustful of strangers, to put it lightly. They're not brutes, though. No, the sickness in the air that clouds the mind of lesser beasts, they resist it. They retain their intellect and their honor, though they're also their lethal traditions. I have some words of advice, my friend. If you plan to challenge the lords of this tribe, your blunted nail may prove inadequate. There is a city nearby, the old capital of Hollow Nest. I've heard a nailsmith resides there. Seek the old bug out and you may find progress that much easier. You have no idea. My own route takes me towards that great city. If you search out the nailsmith, it may not be long until our paths cross again. And I think we are going to heed his advice. Because he's right, there's a nailsmith there. And for Geo, and later on something more... Uh, he will actually improve our nail, allowing it to do more damage, which means we can take out enemies in fewer hits. I am, however, going to hit up the bench first, so we can at least update the map, if nothing else. How do I keep managing that? Pardon me, I needed to sneeze there. How I didn't manage it there, I will not never understand. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can get to her just yet. Let's get out of this mantis area and uh, 
see if we can't find the nail smith as Quirrell suggested. Plus, you know, Mantis Claw <coughs> did unlock some new stuff for us that we could accomplish. But where that stuff is, I do not know. Well, actually, not entirely true. Back at the Queen Station, we could, I think, get that mask shard. But I'm now 100% certain on that one. Now, that being said, we could try to take on the Mantis Lords with our blunted nail, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, nope, this isn't the direction I want to go. Nope, that just leads up to the optional area with the grub. Hmm, where am I? No, wait, I want to go back that way. I do want to go up. <coughs> or I could try going back to the Queen Station to get that mask shard. Yeah, why not? Haven't been collecting a whole lot of things lately. It's not like it's that far off. Hmm. Not hearing conifers humming anymore. Yep. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. I... Not 100% certain on this, but I think if you uh, have to purchase it from his store, it's more expensive than purchasing it out in the wild. Because I think it's out in the wild, so it's incomplete, but I believe it's complete in his shop, or at least mostly complete. Oh, come on. Really? Okay. Back to the bench. Ta-da! And with that, we get a mask shard. I believe it is four of them to upgrade your health. But I could be wrong. Okay, now let's see if in the time remaining we can't make our way to that nail smith. Because I do believe I have the Geo for it. Now, there is multiple upgrades for the nail, because of course. Ah, nope, not what I wanted to do.
And the first upgrade only costs Geo. However... No, no, no. Stay away from me. The others are going to require a material we have yet to find. Okay, and now with the Mantis Claw, we're able to traverse over this way. Because, you know, bridge is out. this way. Oh, come on! Well, at least he dropped me down here. Problem is, that's only half the bridge. And I have no means of healing right now. I don't have enough. Alright, that should hopefully get me the rest of the way. Here, however, is a problem. Large knight statue. Oh, wait. No, wait. I thought it was something completely different that we needed. Thankfully not. And now we're locked in. Lovely. This was just a bunch of Geo. Well, hopefully we'll find some way back out. Okay, ow. Preferably without dying. I would really like to not die to get out of here. this way. Perhaps the old city guard? Oh, there's something there. The great gates have been sealed. None shall enter, none shall leave. 
Whoa. Ah, the capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though. Now I sit before it, I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? The city looks to be built into an enormous cavern, and the rain pours down from the cracks in the stone above. There must be a lot of water up there somewhere. I suppose if the cave roof stayed strong this long, it should hold for us. Here's hoping. Before I leave this kingdom, I'd like to see where all that water comes from. What a sight it must be. If you look down from here, through the rain, you can just make out those twisted sentries, their husks still stuck in endless patrol. I'd be cautious around them, my short friend. Their training will not have been forgotten. The city presents some formidable foes. Hmm. Isn't this a wonderful spot to rest? I so love the sound of rain upon glass. Yeah, me too. Well, unfortunately with that, we are out of time for this episode. So I'm just going to end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.